Hello, my name is uh, Raghda Abu Naga, and uh, my presentation is about uh, the stock market. Um, I actually would like uh, to uh, uh, give uh, you like uh, the information from three different websites, Alpha Vantage, Google Finance, and Yahoo Finance. Uh, I will go over uh, the functions in uh, my Python uh, project and uh, the, um, uh, what each function does um, in order to help us extract the data and analyze it. So I will share that file. So the first um, um, function I would like to discuss is the function new file. And what this function does, it's pretty much get the um, data from Alpha Vantage and uh, create a CSV file with it. Like uh, for example, but, and actually for that, you just need an API key. So that's very simple because you get your free API key from the website and uh, you simply put your information and you'll get an API key on the spot. I put the API key here in a, as a comment. So if you wanna use that, you, uh, you can, and uh, you run it. And let's say, for example, you want your um, data about AMD, and then you need to um, like uh, name the file. So you can say like AMD uh, underscore today, because I just have uh, another AMD file that I created. So here, and the API key is the API I um, have here. So I can just simply copy and paste that um, and uh, it, it will give me the data over a whole month um, in a specific time interval. I prefer the 30 minutes interval. So here it will give you actually all the way from no uh, November 10 to till uh, December 9th. And uh, over a 30 minutes interval, as you see here, like that's 8 p.m., that's 7.30, that's seven. And they give you the high, the low at each time, the close and the, the volume at each time, okay? And uh, if you go to your computer and you put AMD underscore today, you see a CSV file here with that name. And the beautiful thing about uh, PyCharm is that you can simply drag this CSV file and it's now in your uh, project. And so you, if, to open that file, you will not need the, a path, you will not need anything. It's simply inside your PyCharm project. That's why I highly recommend that to run this. Uh, I hope that you do have a PyCharm. So it's all in one place. So, um, and now what we are gonna do with this data, we want to find actually the good price to sell at and the low price to buy at. So you want the highest of the high to be our selling price. We want the lowest of the low to be our, uh, our buying price. And we wanna see at what time we can buy and at what time we should be selling. So if we run that um, function called the graph to make decision, um, we can see that here, like, uh, let's say I want to read that file that I just created, emd uh, underscore today, but here you have to put .csv, and then it will create actually uh, this uh, graph, and this orange actually represent the high, and this blue represent the low, so, and it tells me that uh, the highest of the high is 145.16. The lowest of the low is at, at 137.79. If we look at the graph and we wanna decide the time where we want to sell, um, that actually, if you look at the value of X, you'll find it 10. So at 10 a.m., uh, you should be selling. If you want to see the buying, you go actually end here at uh, you will see the value of x is 16:30 which is 4:30 p.m. um and that's where you should be uh buying because this is at the lowest price so um this is how we are going to use the data from alpha vantage for get news if you go to yahoo finance uh, here for example when i typed ibm on 
the search bar, I got this news. And some of them involved the word IBM and the other didn't. I was mostly interested in the one who does involve the word IBM. So um, if I do run the function get news here, um, I will have um, here, uh, let's say, I will get all these titles of the um, uh, uh, of the articles that involve IBM. Um, here, uh, IBM gains but uh, lags market. Uh, IBM's a good chance to uh, ride the ship. Uh, trade IBM stock tra tactically into the year, new year. If there is any of these um, um, titles that interest you, you can go ahead and read the article or you can get a sense of where the company is going if you would like to buy or sell. You can run it again to show you simply a different company, but this actually works with IBM, AMD, Netflix, and Google. So here, if you would like at AMD, you will see here what actually these, uh, uh, the, the news here have. Uh, so like uh, where to buy the dips in NVIDIA and AMD advanced uh, micro uh, devices Inc. President and CEO Lisa Tisu uh, sold $18 million uh, to share of shares and stuff like that. So you can see where the company is going with these titles. And again, if you would like to um, know more about it, you can go ahead and read the article for more info. So stock info and the data sample are simply like still from the data from Alpha Vantage, except they just give you a small, a smaller, um, um, like uh, um, um, a smaller actually uh, um, data instead of the full data. Like, so for example, like here, if you put here AMD, you will get the data for two days instead of a whole month. Uh, for stock info and for the data sample, for example, if you put it here, if you put AMD again, you will simply get the header if you just are interested in a quicker um, data. So that, that's actually for stock info and data sample. Uh, get a vibe from uh, Google Finance. This one is, um, is not like the other Two, you don't have a specific um, uh, stock that you are looking for, but except it just give you the whole um, vibe of what's going on in the stock market. So if you go to Google Finance, um, like uh, here, um, you will see actually that it gives you just the uh, like uh, what is going up and what is going down. So what this function does um, for for the most active uh, for the most actually active um, stocks. So basically, what this function does, it goes to the most active stocks and see which ones are ups and which one is down. And if the up is bigger, it tells you that this is a good time to sell. And if the downs are bigger, it just tells you that this is a good time to buy. So it just gives you a, a general feeling of how the stock market is going. So if you put uh, here, it tells you that uh, the market is up today because when it found, it found like that, uh, the, the ups are more than the downs. So it's good day to sell, but not to buy. And then you can simply create a JSON file. Like, and you, you can call it like December 10, um, stock vibe, for example. And it will create a JSON file. So for this one, you will have December 10, stock vibe. Vibe. And you will see that this JSON file just simply got created and it's pretty much like uh, who is up and who is down and it just, uh, that that's it. And that the Google Finance was a very complicated website to, and to put the name of the company next to how much it's up or down was 
um, is, is something in progress that I'm still doing. And, um, and actually the last thing is actually the static function. Um, so basically the static function simply opens any file that we created and reads it at any time. So if, for example, I created a file with, uh, C, uh, with AMD and if I run it, I get the this data right here with everything in the CSV file. If I want to um, run the one with the stocks, and I want to see, for example, like for example at twelve ten, I uh, I did have that uh, actually like um, like how many? Just like I I, I saw here that uh, the most active stocks were up or down on that day. So simply I create a dictionary with uh, the name of the day with actually who is up and who is down. Uh, so that's pretty much my um, project. So uh, it gives you uh, the data from uh, Alpha Vintage and uh, with the highest and lowest with the time. And it gives you the news from Yahoo Finance and it gives you the general vibe of whether or not the market is going up or down from Google Finance. So, um, and these data together tells you whether or not to invest or not to invest for, for uh, the stock that day. Thank you so much. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Bye-bye.